I thought it would be a great idea to uh, put together a book like this and I asked Kriegel Press if they were willing to do it and they were, they saw the value of it. We were able to get some of the best scholars uh, in the country from uh, Walt Kaiser to uh, uh, Darrell Bach and Dr. Bob Chisholm and Don Sanukian and Mike Wilkins in the New Testament, Craig Evans, Mike Brown, just a, a whole bunch of wonderful uh, professors and teachers, uh, scholars, to help us uh, in this book. And so we're really excited. We hope that uh, many will read this book. And at the end of the day, they'll not only learn more about Isaiah 53, but hopefully it will help our brothers and sisters in Jesus to communicate the gospel in a more uh, sensitive and more knowledgeable way to Jewish people. Isaiah 53 helps to explain what is going on with the death of Jesus. Uh, it, it tells us that what we have is an, is an atoning death that someone has taken on and is bearing the sins of another. And of course, at the core of the message that people talk about when they ask, why did Jesus have to come? What was his life and ministry about? Is this idea of his bearing the burden for us, of his taking our place, taking our penalty, uh, and uh, that's what atonement is. Isaiah 53 is not the easiest passage to understand in Hebrew. And so someone who's going to teach and preach from it is probably going to need some help with the intricacies of the chapter, uh, the grammar, the words. And I believe that these chapters that we provided in the book will help someone understand the passage and be able to talk about it intelligently and from a good, solid academic point of view. The Book of Isaiah is an important book for anyone studying the scriptures, uh, especially the Hebrew scriptures, uh, because it's uh, the major uh, prophet, not only in size, but also in emphasis of the future messianic ministry of the servant of the Lord. So Isaiah 53 is central to all of that, and therefore a pivotal chapter to understand in, in the literary art, in the literary structure, as well as the theological import of the book of Isaiah.